know what annoys me? I have all these thoughts about a great intro for the next vlog and the next car and then when it comes time to film, there's nothing there. That grand intro that I was gonna do this morning, nowhere to be found. It's bloody shorts and t-shirt weather, flip-flops, deep sea fishing and beautiful cars. That's right, Naples, Florida. Look, I know that there are car guys on YouTube with millions of subscribers, and that is great. I do want to say, in, in all seriousness, I know I'm not serious much, but I'm trying to be serious right now, and I'm struggling. A big thank you to all my subscribers. 10,000 subscribers, I'm super stoked, uh, and appreciative, and humbled, so thank you very much. If you're down in Naples, Florida, Marco Island, Tampa, wherever, and you want an exotic car, give Blake Biggs a call at Naples Exotics. The number will be below on the screen. I do some fancy stuff in editing and make it look like I know what I'm doing. Every time I go to do a car review, who do I see? I see Joker and the Ikester. It's, it's a Venom sighting. Hey! Hey, good to see you. Good morning. Good morning to you and your fans. Have a good day. You know what I'm not gonna do this morning? Is get my phone and reel off a bunch of stats about the Porsche Panamera. And listen, by the end of this vlog, you are not gonna be an engineer and you are not gonna know how to build an engine in a Porsche because that's just wasting time. I feel like we should just get down to brass tacks, people, and get on with the program. Ladies and gentlemen, I give to you the 2019 Porsche Panamera. <laughs> Opening door handle. A very pretty urban brown perforated leather interior. A nice backdrop there with some water. And a very nice dash. Sleek door handles, very easy seat settings and locking mechanism. It has a mock key. Foot on the brake. And the car starts. I guess you've got your garage control up here, your sunroof options, your map lights. That rear view mirror is slick. It doesn't have a big black plastic piece of crap around it. Here is your Porsche steering wheel. I love it's got the toggle options. So you can roll through your options. Currently letting me know I'm off-road. <laughs> yep, thank you. Not off-road forward driving, just off the beaten track, if you know what I mean. This side allows you to toggle through the GPS, which is, I really like this. You've got a GPS here. Oh, shit. It knows when you're getting close to touch it, and it gives you all these other options. But here, you can see it has a GPS option. Toggle through, drive time and distance, speed, all that sort of stuff. Your various fluid temperatures. There you have your tire pressure, your G-Force. And if you click on it, you can see G-Force, G-Force Max, and then reset. That very recognizable Porsche dial. All the rest is digital, very fancy. And over here we have our Triptronic gears, Triptronic. We can go into manual mode, which you can see on the back here. Your cruise control hides down here, which is nice. Kind of out of the way and discreet. Let's get friendly with the infotainment system. We're gonna make this snappy, people. You've got your navigation, your media, your phone, your car, your climate. Driving conditions, driving setup. So you've got normal, sport, individual, start, stop option, spoiler options, chassis options. So we're on normal right now. You can change it to sport or sports plus. 
So with your suspension options, the chassis setting can be adapted to the current driving situation and individual preferences. Very nice. Control, vehicle, displays and system. Trip, shows you a picture of the Porsche just flying down the highway. I must say, I do love the digital display of the Porsche on the infotainment system. Press sport and it shows you the donk light up and the exhaust. This is sick, I must say. Here is another way that you can cycle through your infotainment system. Your climate control, very, very simplistic. Here you have your seat heating and air conditioning, your windshields, front and rear defrosters, sports mode, traction control on or off, individual, so we are on individual mode right now. A very pretty little clock. I love the old analog clocks. Just makes a nice difference. Back seat, and it does look very personalized. Like it's not just a bench seat where everyone just gets on and rubs each other and catches each other's germs. I've got to tell you, the back seats are very comfortable and roomy. I have not moved the driver's seat from my position and I have ample room. And again, your own sunroof in the back. Oh, Porsche, so generous. Perforated, heated leather seats in the back. <laughs> Can anyone say? Royalty. Very nice looking center console for the rear passengers. And you just open it up and Alakazam, USB ports, cup holders, very nice. And of course, what is a luxury vehicle today without a hidden compartment? I wouldn't actually call it hidden, it's just a compartment. Settle down, people. So the 2019 Porsche Panamera, three liter V6 turbo, 330 horsepower, 330 pounds of torque, Nothing really impressive. Yeah, they're a beautiful car. But now we're gonna test out the handling, the braking, the acceleration, and see if this 330 horsepower is actually 330 horsepower. All right, girl. So we are in normal mode right now. That wasn't too bad. Now, of course, when we are in automatic mode, we still have the option to use the paddle shifters if we want to drop down a gear. When you are in manual mode, however, it is solely up to you. All right, so let's chuck it into sports mode. Switch over to manual configuration, drop down from fifth, fourth, third. Let's see what she's got. Okay, look, I'm being a little bit of a tough critic right now because this Porsche isn't the GTS model, the Sports Turismo model. This is the stock three liter V6 turbo engine. Drop it down into sports mode, get down in the gears, throw a U-turn, get in the first gear. Let's check what she's got. Valve popping. Oh, nice. That's better. Slow down a bit, get a standing start before the traffic gets here. Go. Cool. Oh! Ho, ho. Don't get too close to the red lines, she'll valve pop. Not bad. It's not too bad. I was a little bit tough on her earlier. There is a bit of float though. Oh. That is the police station right there. <laughs> okay, sorry guys. Forgive me, but I was only doing 65. Super big shout out to our first responders and military. Thank you all for what you do. We certainly appreciate it and wouldn't have the luxuries and freedoms that we do have today without your service. So thank you very much. All right, so I want to get to the point where I can test the old chunkers out. So let's get away from the traffic and test the old chunkers. Here we go. We've got a bit of space. Here we go. Nice. One thing I cannot stand with these new cars, I can't stand it, I can't stand it, is the auto start stop. Even when you shut the auto start stop off, I feel like it's configured through factory settings that when you stop the car for a certain period of time, it automatically engages. It's almost like you can't override it and that is starting to really annoy me. Porsche. The verdict's still out with this car. I really am very confused because I love Porsche and I love the interior. I love the suspension. The quality and comfort in the car is second to none. Can't say it's better than Mercedes. 
I can say that it's definitely on par with Mercedes. However, there is something seriously afoot with the acceleration in this car and the handling. It's very washy, even when I change the configurations, which I'm about to do again, see if I got something wrong. Don't get me wrong, I absolutely love this car. I love the interior, but I cannot stand the way that the car pulls when you accelerate from a standing start. It's like the front end just gets air under it and it's washy. Feels almost like this car is a front wheel drive. Here we go again. I think we're gonna take a drive down Fifth Avenue. Let everyone know that the, uh, the convicts in town. What's that? How are you, mate? Yeah, just flew in from Australia. Just went straight into the dealership and bought her. I know that the person behind me is like, who is this guy talking to? And the person in front is like, who is this madman behind me talking to a street pole? Whatever. I, t I talk to street poles, I don't discriminate. Talk to trees, how are you tree? What's that? Yeah, it's mine. Yep. Man, oh man, there are some bad drivers out here. Watch the road, Gino. Watch the bloody road. Oh shit. People are getting on the honkers. Oh damn. I feel like I'm having a deja vu because we are back on Fifth Avenue with all the poshy poshy people. With all the upper class people. Oh, good to be back. How you going? Donnie, how are you mate? I see you tonight out on the yacht. Here we are again. Memory lane. How are you? G'day. Oh, look out. Oh, pull your pants up any higher, mate, and you'll strangle yourself. Jeez. <laughs> Go easy with the, the pants pulling, mate. How you going? How are ladies? All right, you've got to see what I'm seeing here. I mean, these houses are just astonishing. There is money abroad. Oh, look at that palace. Look at that place. I know I'm losing focus here, people. Steering. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, yep, yep. 5 0 and the helicopter after me. They've got word that a nuisance is driving around Naples, Florida in a white Porsche. That's me, you mongrel. <laughs> oh, man, I crack myself up sometimes, I'm telling you. I almost want to pull into one of the houses that's being built <laughs> and act like the owner. <laughs> Oh, that would be great. That would be so good. I want to act like the owner. I really should do it, but there's no way. I don't have the kahunas for that. I, I cannot do that. I'm sorry. I cannot do that. If you've never taken a walk, a bike ride, or a drive on Gulf Shores Boulevard in Naples, Florida, do yourself a favor. See how the other side live, because it's off the chain. I mean, it's unbelievable. Big shout out to Porsche Nation. Certainly have enjoyed the feeling of being a Porsche owner for the day. Maybe next time I'll get the 911, how about that? Time to get some gas in the old Porsche Panamera. Nothing worse than a friend that borrows your car and takes it back with no gas in it. If that's you, you are a scumbag. Don't be like that. Always return cars full of gas. If you've only driven the car for 10 minutes, I don't care. Put gas in it, show your appreciation. Ugh, I hate it. How quickly these days come to an end. I tell you, it's unbelievable. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in. Be sure to like and subscribe if you want to. And abracadabra, this vlog is over. <laughs> He's still looking at me. He's still looking at me. Oh boy. Why isn't it working?